Hey everyone, time for a quick hobby update video to kind of see what's on the bench. So I finished my demonette, so I started working on these guys last night. Um, I haven't done too much, I just got a base coat of uh, Bulkan or Lead Belcher. And I do use my normal rust effects with my three colors of... Let's see what we use, we use uh, Vallejo Model Air Rust. Old GW Dark Flesh, I don't know, hopefully I got a rough or cool event, but... Um, I'm really hoping I can replace this with something. And lastly, just quick over dry brush uh, with the Troll Slayer Orange. So those are the three colors I use for my rust effects. Um, combination of sponging and stippling and dry brushing just kind of mix up the, the look a lot. Um, it's got a little more rusty than I wanted to start with, but uh, I'll go with it. And I also decided to try something completely different this time. I've seen this uh, recommended a lot online and I just wanted to try it myself. So instead of, you know, getting a test model, I just jumped right in. And that was uh, the P3 Armor Wash. And so I got some comments in the Armor Wash. First of all, I found it kind of difficult to use. It pulled up a lot and very easily, see like right here on the fender, pulled up right there. And that's even a flat part, I don't know how that pulled up. Um, it was really hard to kind of control and the other thing is it was it gave a lot of air bubbles trying to use it which is which is kind of the death of washes because you don't want air bubbles in it and, uh, so i so i spent a lot of time trying to get rid of air bubbles in the wash and lastly it gives a very interesting satin finish so they definitely have to be varnished with uh, matte afterwards uh, if you're not if you're not going to do any other painting, uh, but the, I definitely don't like the the satin look. It's almost it's satin leaning towards gloss um, from the wash, and I'm definitely not a fan of that. Um, I do kind of like the look. It's a very different color. It's not really a dark gray. It may almost in, it almost borders on a Payne's gray. It's got just I think it's got just a hint of blue in it. That's why I think it's uh, uh, a very uh, interesting color. I do kind of like the way it look, came out. I think the uh, egg, the brown, the, the egg rusher shade probably work out better. Um, but this is definitely not uh, bad. Well, I'll stick with these. I might do the other ones with the egg rusher shade just kind of uh, to be different and kind of differentiate the energy and non-energy um, platforms a little more. But, so I've been kind of trying to figure out what to use for a battery and maybe some more bits or not. And then I got this out of somebody's bits box. I think it's the comms relay from the uh, Bastion. And this thing is just awesome looking. This is an awesome looking bit. And it's just right size and scale. So I wasn't originally going to use it as a weapon itself, but I think it's a little too small for that. I'm like way out of frame here. <laughs> I think it's a little too small to use as an actual weapon. I'm not sure. Um, but I will probably use this as like a battery pack or energy, something like that off to the side with some cabling running, running into the energy weapons and tractor cannons, custom mega blasters, custom mega cannons, all those things. Because on the um, official kit, it has a uh, energy pack or battery sitting off to the side, so I'm going to probably duplicate that. Um, I don't know how. Trying to get these on eBay hasn't been too easy. Um, doesn't seem like a bit that comes up for sale very often. So I might just have to duplicate it or cast it or something. I don't know. But I think it's going to be a, a great addition to these things. Had a little complexity. Had a little bit of a, a, I don't know what the term would be. Like, add a little bit of, of um, make them a little more complex, so to speak. So but as I said, that's going to be sticking with the energy weapons, which I haven't even started on yet. See, something like that, and then we have this sitting next to it. So I'm gonna have to like magnetize it or something with some cables running between the two. I think it will come out pretty well. So anyway, that's just a really really quick hobby update. So I'm still not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with these guys as far as painting the armor, um, how much I'm gonna paint, how much I'm gonna leave rust, uh, how much chipping I'm gonna do on the rust. I really haven't decided any of that yet, but I got them to uh, the stage. 
uh, and I'm pretty happy with, with how they came out. Um, and the, as far as the uh, P3 armor wash, I would give this a, uh, a two and a half stars. It's a little hard to work with. I don't like the finish, but the, uh, and the color's a little, might take a little getting used to. I'm not exactly sure. It may look better on non-rusty metal. So I guess I'll hold up a judgment until I do some washing on this with some non-rusty metals and see how it can, this comes out. So I'll do another comment on that when I get to that point. I don't know when that's going to be exactly, but sometime down the road, I'll take a look at it. So that's it. Real quick hobby update. Talk to you guys later.